Do we hit it? <laughs> Do you, it? This show can be shut down by one button, dude. That's it. That, or if, hey, if, best button in the place. <laughs> hey, look at that. You're welcome, folks. <laughs> if Renzo the dog comes there and trips a wire, dude, the entire apartment turns off. Yeah, we were uh, going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to be in big trouble. Um, we're like, trying to make it work here, people. You don't understand the level of cords. <laughs> Once Paul goes home and he's our moderator, once he goes home, he can attest that this room could not be any more crowded with garbage, lights, shit. Uh, the problem is we're making it work yeah. with not, like, high-level equipment. like Or high-level talent. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. Uh-huh. But, like, yeah, I'm sure if we had, like, actual professionals come in and set this thing up. Maybe it'd look decent. Yeah, we could we could have a lot less cores yeah, and yeah. like you know it could look great. Yeah, and it costs us twenty grand. But. but anyway, we got like I said, we got a couple special guests for you guys. They are on their way over. They're actually traveling here right together in a vehicle together. Yeah, they didn't want to fly because of you know COVID. Right. So they're traveling via you know the roads. They're they're on the roads. We'll see them in a minute. We have two guests. They'll be on here in a minute. Uh, today's show we have a really special show for you guys. Today we are doing uh, our new segment, uh, knock off or knockout. We're going to be taste testing some off brands against the real brands, and we're going to let you guys know if you're overspending or if there's an off brand out there that you know it's pretty much the exact same thing you know yeah, what I mean? no, we're, we're here to help we're here to we're, save you money and entertain you we're a bit of a public service <laughs> if you will to uh society that's right uh let's jump right into this because i want to get into this taste test uh if you've never been part of the show we are going to say a ton of shit in here that's wildly factually inaccurate uh and if that's the case lamb tell them too damn bad. It's too, uh, too damn idiots. You know what you signed up for. Positive news, positive vibes, no politics. Let's get this thing started. First story of the day for you guys. We had to just cover it for a second because we're all into the space. We're all into the technology. Um, As usual, we don't have it set up right, but we will. Oh. <laughs> Is that what's going on over there? Uh, now it's good. Now we're good. Uh, SpaceX, uh, they lifted four astronauts uh, yesterday, uh, sent them to the space station. Um, nothing super wild about this, but every time NASA sends somebody into space, it's fascinating. And, uh, me for one, the fact that there's just a company out there that's job is to like send people to space. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to be morbid, but every time somebody goes to space, people want to lie about it, but people watch hoping that it doesn't blow up. That's the only reason everybody tunes in. Like that's really, let's go, let's go. I hope hope this thing doesn't blow up. Right. Uh, but yesterday was successful. Like extra points in football. Like, like, yeah, I'll watch it. You're watching, but yeah, I mean, you're hoping it doesn't go bad, but that's, I mean, otherwise, why would you watch it? Cause it looks the exact same every single time. Um, NASCAR. It's horrible. Nobody's watching. I'm not rooting for it to blow up, but because you can't even like, I like things to go wrong, but I can't even root for like one thing to go wrong. Not, not, not with this. It's like, I want it to like in some way for them to be, yeah, and the guy's like fighting it. He's like, I got it. I got it. He fights it under control. And you're like, yeah, get it, man. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. You got it, bro. And they all eject and they all like, ah, that was terrible, but they, they made it out. But that's never the case. They all had like sweet parachutes and flew down to the ground. If like, if like the size of like a paper clip, like it had like a small leak in it, they're all literally incinerated into a million pieces. Yeah, exactly. Not that great. But anyway, very cool story. Um, oh, let's roll down to that sweet ass picture. Oh, that was a sweet ass picture. Uh, very, very cool. Like I said, they did make it up. They're going to be up there in the space station for about uh, six months, is what we heard. And this is kind of a. Um this is them starting kind of an ongoing, almost transportation back and forth. Yeah. Uh, they wanted to have a very easy way to get people up and down. They've started this whole mission, and this is kind of where it's going. So, so I know you're not big on flying, mm-hmm. but if you had the opportunity to go to space, mm, I'm you gonna, taking it? I'm going to need to be like the... F- Thousand shit. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking safety wise. Like, oh, I'm just talking like, yeah, like, yeah, like I'll yeah, be there. Like, yeah. I'll be there a thousand percent. Right. If somebody can say to me, "Look, man, like we got it. Like we figured the whole thing out. It's not that complicated. There's really no risk." Yeah, I definitely want to check it out. All right. All right, next story here. We're gonna try and move groove. We got some good ones here, but we want to get to the good stuff. Um, Gotta love it. Waffle we, House. That's right. We, we like to stick really low brow on this show, so we're going to keep it that way. Uh, Lamb brought me this. Lamb, let them know what's up here. So Waffle House is getting in the beer game. Waffle House getting in the beer game. So they collabing with this Okinone. Okinone? Okinone? Uh, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, brewing company. And they're making their bacon-infused red ale. <laughs> So bacon and kegs, baby, bacon and kegs. Literally, dude, it's such a great name. The fact that they actually kept their Waffle House like little logo on it, yeah. like like the style of print, I love everything about it. The weird thing though is Waffle House in and of itself doesn't serve alcohol, that's so you can't get this at a Waffle House. That is, as ca- far as I know, unless ca- they're gonna have some sort of special thing where you can order it maybe or something. I do like red ale, and I do like the fact that they went with something just a little bit different, um, like. Not just like a, I don't know, like a Pilsner or something. Yeah. They went with something that was a little different. So I like a good red ale. I think it's cool, but I agree. If they're not going to serve it in the restaurant, it's kind of weird. It's going to be really but, hard but, to catch but on. But you know alcohol I mean? and Waffle House are intertwined so deeply. Yeah. It's like weird to me that like. 
Sorry, I was just, I was just, I was just, just reading it, running along here. Yeah. Uh, all right, we got that one. What else we got here on the on the thing? I, I do like this though. I'm, we're gonna have to actually bring this on the show. We're gonna see if we can find it. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring I this. mean, it's gonna probably hard because it's a. We're East seeing Coast. a little bit of this though. Like I said, we saw Starbucks bring in some alcohol. We've we've seen some companies start to try and you know push their own alcoholic products. So this is kind of curious. Um, uh, this we, is the one you brought me. Oh, this is a story I brought. This is kind of this was traveling around the internet yesterday, and I just thought it was cool just to kind of just to kind of talk about for a second. Um, if you have ever gone to an all inclusive resort, have you? Yes, love it. Um, First, there there is a li- a ceiling though. Yeah, yeah, it's great for like five days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a thousand percent true. Lamp, you can only eat buffet <laughs> food for like a, for so long, and not to mention you can only kind of drink yourself into a coma for so long. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's uh, like, what are we gonna do today? Yeah. Well, all the alcohol I can drink is free, so I guess I'm gonna dr- start drinking as early as I can, right. and then I'm gonna drink until I can't. And your body just can't handle that yeah. for like multiple days in a row. Like I, I remember uh, a good buddy of mine used to say that like Vegas is good for three days, and then you gotta go home. And that, that's how I feel about an all you can all you can eat or all you can drink everything resort. Now this one is different. I guess this luxury resort is uh, struggling a little bit, as everybody is with the with the pandemic. They're struggling to get people to come there, so they are offering a new deal. They are offering for thirty grand. You can show up anytime you want. You can come and stay as much as you want, and they will. It's still all you can eat or drink for the entire year of two thousand twenty one. Thirty grand. Does it say how many pl- like spots are given out? Because like, what happens if they, you roll up and you're like, "Yo, I'm here," and they're like, uh, "Actually, we're full." Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, am I another like, good, that's guaranteed? a good. That, that's a good like, question. You have to call ahead. Like, do I have to call ahead and make a reservation? Do I get? Do I have an actual room where my stuff is kept? Yeah. Can I leave stuff and be like, "Yo, I'll be back in a month." That's, these are all good questions that we probably should have researched before the show. <laughs> this is part of what. But we apparently, do. this place looks dope as shit. Yeah, yeah. I really, I love everything about it. Um, we were actually looking at it though. Like you were saying, what? That's like twenty five hundred dollars a month, right? Yeah. About twenty five hundred dollars a month. Yep. And if you're paying, I mean, that's probably a lot more than you spend in a but month. But you get a sunrise yoga deck. Now, that is important. I don't have one of those right now. Uh, no, I have I, a sunset yoga deck, and it's not the same. I, where is it? <laughs> we live together. I, Outside. Oh, I haven't seen it's it. a deck. Oh, okay. Uh, There's sun. I, I thought wood was required for it to make it's a deck. Over water bungalow. <laughs> okay. Um, any, okay, let's say, let's say you have a job where you're making 65 grand a year and your apartment's a dump. Is this work it worth it? Apparently, it's not as good as you think. You only get a 25% savings on dining. And, tr- and spa treatment? Yeah, and you get included breakfast. That's it. Oh, so I oh, so everything else I got to pay for? Yeah. What the, the hell is this? Like a bed and breakfast all year round. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a water bed and breakfast, like at yeah, the beach. I don't know, a man. A beach and breakfast. Here's what I will say. They got the all you can eat with like the buffets and stuff. They're not stopping me from. I know. Me. They're <laughs> like, whatever, leave alone. <laughs> I spent you thirty grand. I better be able to get some waffles. <laughs> I need yeah, a sandwich. Yeah, I need a sandwich, David. All right, move on. Uh, like I said, just out of a cool story, thirty grand for year round uh, amenities, kind of nice. Uh, final story, for a really nice segue. Lamb just wanted to let you guys know for the holidays, if you wanted to. You can decorate your own Oreos, have them custom made Boom. for you. Boom. So uh, if you're feeling like customizing your own Oreos, there they are. You can get packaging, all that. They got all sorts of sh- stuff going on. You can, we went into the Oreo. It's already live. It's you already, go, yeah. yeah. $15 a pa- uh, pack. Yep. Boom. Look at this. You yeah. want to customize just the cream color? You can pick a different color clean. You want to put pictures on it? You want to put a full picture and image? You can put sprinkles on them. You can change you can have them dipped in different things. You can change the flavor of the cream. I better be able to get like a triple stuff cuz I know my boy Malcolm with mega love. stuff. Yo, we exists. should. Yeah, we need to get Yo, Mal- we're going to hook up Mal. <laughs> we need to hook up Malcolm with some mega stuff for Christmas. Malcolm in the chat. Malcolm you in the chat. You better get some mega stuff Oreos for Christmas? All right. Uh, look Oh, sorry. I thought yeah. that, I thought yeah, that was him just for a second. Uh, uh, no, yeah. uh, we, we'll we send him some. Uh, I don't like all of the sprinkly shit, though. I don't want any sprinkles on my Oreo. I mean, I like them if you're going to put that picture. It's kind of cool, like decorates around. looks kind of like a frame. Yeah. Like if those like your wedding gifts or something like that. That's kind of cool. Put the Oreo crumbles around it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. Yeah. Like double up, on the, yeah. double up on that cookie. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't. I love the idea. I'm just not 100% sure. Uh, all right. So as we're talking about this, the uh, vehicle is pulling up. Yeah. <laughs> can hear it. Yeah, I can actually hear the idiot mobile <laughs> pulling up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so we are, without further ado, we're going to bring in our couple knuckleheads, my older brother, Tony, and my good cousin, Paul, who flew across the country to hang out. Uh, let's bring them in here. They're over there uh, farting around and punching each other. They're mic number three. Is that right? Four. Say something. Say something. Four. 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 Okay. Four. Say something to make sure. Hey. 
Hey, 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 say a bunch of curse words. No, I'm just kidding. Don't say anything. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to have to <laughs> give them the old. Yeah, yeah. I'll give, you'll give it a fart. <laughs> uh, no, we brought them in. Uh, they're in a, uh, looks like they're in some kind of mobile home that they rode in on. So we appreciate you guys making some time to be here. It was a long trip. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to stop along the way. Hotels aren't safe. Are you guys refurbishing that place or how, what's <laughs> going on over there? Or is it our prefer? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Little, little home improvement here. A little home improvement. Okay. Fantastic. So Tidy we, up. yeah, uh, we needed two extra bodies. Uh, green screen. That's correct, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> they are not really in an RV, but you don't need to know that. Uh, Yo, technology. Just because we're good at technology doesn't mean you have to be shitting. No, on they it. really are in an RV. Yeah. They're out there hanging out. Um, we are going to be doing the blind taste test today, and we needed a bunch of bodies, and these guys have an absolutely exquisite palate, so that's why we brought them in. Very uh, refined. Very refined. They only eat the, the best stuff. So we're, let's, without further ado, let's go jump right into it, Lamb. Uh, the new game that we are breaking out for you guys today, uh, a little bit of thing, something called Knock Off or Knock Out. <laughs> Ow, bow. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, <laughs> let me hit it again. Ow, there it is. Okay, so knock off or knock out. What we're going to be doing for you, we're going to bring in some some really uh, legit items, like a Frosted Flake, for example. Here's the Frosted Flakes. Most people are familiar with those. Everybody knows a Frosted Flake. Now, are you, you familiar with the knock off? Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Frosted Flakes. They literally didn't change the name. They just literally they, stole everything, but they didn't steal... Tony. They didn't steal Tony the tiger, so I appreciate they have that. Pete oh, they? the polar bear. Pete the polar bear. That is not his name. That is something Lamb just made up. Uh, <laughs> no, Pete the he's polar a polar bear. bear. I don't Pete, know. Yeah. Uh, maybe Paul the polar bear. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. Uh, maybe the polar bear. But, uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'll just give you another punch. There you go. <laughs> that was a knockout yeah, punch. Yeah, that was a knockout punch. Why don't you get out of here, Lamb? All right. No. Uh, yeah, they didn't get better than that, folks. <laughs> so uh, this box cost us like $1.50. Uh, actual Frosted Flakes cost us almost 3 bucks. So... A lot of the stuff here today, if we don't remember to say it, was almost half the price. So uh, that was kind of what was important to the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, upcharge. Somebody said, bring my RV back. <laughs> uh, uh, Pete the Polar Bear. All right, Pete the Polar Bear can stay. All right, that's the new name. Um, let's jump right into it. What's the first item? Where we, I actually wrote the order down. Uh, we're going to do... Not that. We're going to do Doritos first. All so, right. Okay, so... Um, you have seen a bag of Doritos. Uh, we don't have the real bag in here, but that's okay. Yeah, because uh, people know what Doritos look this like. This is the knockoff bag. Um, if you if you can see it, it looks exactly the same. Uh, actually, I should put it in the light. Uh, yeah, it's actually very, very similar. I should put it in the light. So, okay. yeah, we went to a good old-fashioned Aldi's for this. Ooh. And they had a brand called Clancy's. Again, cheaper than Doritos, but they are by no means even pretending to be anything different than Doritos. <laughs> I've never seen this on the front of a package in huge letters. Naturally and artificially flavored. There we go, dude. Right there on the front. No certified synthetic colors, dude. Yeah, in, in, right. in case you were worried about that. I didn't uh, even know that was an option. Yeah, but so, Okay, so let's jump right into it. I don't even know. Oh, Does that mean go. they're not certified? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they advertising that? Uh, <laughs> you got so enough questions. Th so. They're concerned. Okay, so this is D for Doritos, I assume, yeah. and C for Clancy's. Yep. Uh, all right, so let's jump right into it. Everybody try, will we try the D Doritos first? I'm going to go Doritos. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm going to go. I yeah, want to. Yeah, you kind of Clancy's first? I'll try Clancy's with you. All right, here we go. Try it. That is not a Dorito. Not a Dorito, but not bad. Not bad. I'm leaning away so I don't chew into the mic. Yeah. Make sure you talk into the mics and chew away from the mics. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing we can help these people out with. Um, This tastes less seasoned. Right up on it, yeah. But, um, yeah. Let's try the second one. I'm going to try a Dorito, though, before I start making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Wildly different. Yeah. I'd say the Clancy's is a thicker chip. Yeah, drier to me though. I don't. Yeah, was not not in a better way. Less flavor. It's yeah. less flavor. That's all it really not is. Not enough powder. Yeah, Tony would not have agreement. It's definitely less powder, less season. Less season, less powder. So they've taken some, uh, some, uh, some shortcuts somewhere is what we're saying here. Yeah, they're 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 saving money and they're passing it along to us. So what do you guys nail with the chips? It's a little crunchier, a little different. Okay, yeah. so Clancy's, oh, yeah. Clancy's was. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Clancy's yeah, yeah. felt a little like like it harder. Yeah, yeah, like, when you finish, but like, what like, you had to like work through it a little more. <laughs> okay, so also I forgot to I forgot to say this. For each one, we're gonna have a question. Me and Lamb against uh, Paul and Tony. The thing is, uh, we did have a third party, uh, our producer. Yeah, our producer Allie. Our producer Allie put this together for us. Uh, we have n nobody here has seen the uh, answers to these questions, but each each uh, each one each food item gets a question. So, what's question number one, Lamb? With the Doritos. All right, for the Doritos, the d question is. How many flavors of Doritos are there currently? 
So you guys talk together amongst each other. How many flavors of Doritos Lamb? Quick look it up on your phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the cool. answer. Okay, so Cool Ranch. We got, uh, obviously, this one. Nacho. Spicy uh, Nacho. Spicy Nacho. Uh, the sweet chili. The sweet chili. The taco. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about the taco. And that, like, spicy tapatio one. They have, oh, okay. Well, they also have another one outside of the... It's like, like a purple one. Another one. Uh, Allie, the producer's in the house. Let's give her a horn here. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I literally, I want to say like, I want to say like 10, but just because I'm assuming I missed a couple, but I'm worried it's going to be much higher than that. All right. What are you thinking? All right, folks. Also, we're taking uh, votes or answers guys, in the chat. If it answers in the chat, uh, we could use some help. If you guys have any idea how many, without looking, how many flavors of Doritos are currently on the market? If you had to guess, I mean, I can't imagine more than 12, right? I mean, I literally only have five flavors of Doritos ever in my entire life. So if it turns out to be like 50, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be like, yo, somebody's going <laughs> to yeah, lie. I know dude. we need it. All right. 15. Just the U.S. market or worldwide? Derek, what the God. hell do you know about the Dorito market <laughs> worldwide? <laughs> <laughs> Derek out there with the Dorito worldwide Dorito Look, market. We're talking Swedish Doritos here. <laughs> yeah, sweet Doritos. <laughs> sweet Doritos. Derek, I love you, Death. I'm just teasing, but that is really funny. Uh, we're talking whatever you can find. Right out. Uh, nine. We got nine. We got 15. See, people are kind of in the same direction. I, I can't imagine it's more than 10. 12? Uh, I don't know. Dude. Yeah, I'll I get, think we'll, go 12. Uh, we'll go 12. Uh, this pen just died, so we're not, we can't use that one anymore. Uh, I thought there was another pen in here. There, there you go. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, okay. Just start moving stuff. Just, okay. Yeah, there's things. There's How things. many are you guys going we're with? We're going to go with 12. Six. 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 Oh, okay, so a lot less. So Paul and Tony go six. We go 12. We have to establish now, are we playing prices Right rules? Well, no. It's just closest. Just closest. To, and if we're split, then it's... 50-50. Point, point. Point both ways. All right. Do we want the answer? We want the answer. We got yeah. ten. We got eleven. We got nine. We got fifteen. Uh, Rick says one hundred and two. <laughs> All right. The current, the correct yeah. answer is sixteen. Oh wow! A I'm lot. Gonna need a list. I I'm know. Gonna, Allie, our producer, will uh, compile a list <laughs> for us for the future. She doesn't. I'm know sure that we right. can Google it yeah. and find out I'm and sure just find these 16. flavors. Sixteen. Sixteen. Alps might have like three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, they have at least four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, at can least we, four. Can we Google real fast and see oh, what that comes up with? Yeah, we're, we're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't have a <laughs> like, show going on or anything right now. We're not doing anything. 16. Uh, so you got you got the two main ones. Right, we got nacho cheese. You got the spicy nacho. Burrito, then you got spicy nacho. But then you got the sweet and chili. Okay. And then taco. Then taco. That was really where we well, you know, fell off. Like that lime chili one they had, I remember. Lime chili. All current. Oh, okay. Salsa verde. Never seen them. Whoa! Hold on, hold okay, on, we got to bring this up for you guys. What is this? Flaming hot. We got limon. Nacho. Whoa! What? Where? Where, where is all, all this these? stuff? Where is all these? Look at that busted ass Dorito in the, in the <laughs> third one. That's what my is favorite. That? It's because one of the originals. It's the throwback. Something from 1946, <laughs> dude. What is that? Oh, oh I have seen the Simplies. That's not all right. That's fair. That's I've fair. seen the Simplies. I've never seen this. And one. they're different flavors too. So I got to count. I've them. never seen this blazing, blazing buffalo. buffalo ranch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, that does sound good. All, all right. right, we got to get wa get wild in this. So thing. what we can? Okay, the only thing we can really decipher is two things. Doritos are still better than the off brand. And Allie really did her job. Yeah. <laughs> she apparently did some <laughs> actual research. Allie. Allie, this producer, yeah. really did her job. So, okay, that we start off with. Uh, we'll give me and Lamb an air horn <laughs> just because, and we'll just pick a random button for Paul or Tony. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a current random. state of affairs. <laughs> just so random. Just picked a different one. All right, number two. Uh, yay, yay. Oreos. Oh, okay, that was exciting. I should have uh, saved that for last, but screw it. Okay. So, grab it. So, right too. I so like, I feel like these got extensive research in the house. Okay, so yeah, prior we, to the show, Paul is correct. We did have extensive <laughs> research on these by accident. Uh, these are Oreos. You guys get two Oreos. Uh, sure. We already have two of these. We'll get two Oreos I'm for sure ourselves. You know what that tastes like. Um, uh, I brought these. Me and Lamb went out shopping recently. And we bought home uh, the knockoff brand of Oreos uh, by Great Value, which is known as a what is it? Twist and Twist and Shout. Twist and Shout. Uh, Twist and Shout. So they look exactly the same. Uh, except for the outside. Except for the outside, you guys different can, labeling. You can't see this, but it's just kind of small discrepancy. There's very, <laughs> very small discrepancies in each cookie. Um, Some sort of patent knockoff. This household was uh, made aware that there was a show on Monday that needed these. Nobody gave a damn. I came in one day <laughs> and every package was ripped open, so I had to bag all of them up to make sure that we at least had enough. Oh my god, now they're breaking apart. I'm pretty sure the bags got lighter as well. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I can't prove that either, but Tony did make an offhanded comment that the bags looked lighter, which makes me think he was onto something. All Tony, right. Tony, any inside information on that? I'm still working on it. 
<laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going... <laughs> Tony's still working on it. I know. <laughs> For Shane I'm going to I'm gonna open... I'm going to twist it open. Oh, and shout. And... <laughs> woo! <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to try cookie by itself. Oh, I like that. I'm going to try the cookie by itself, too. Okay. Set that aside. I'll be back for you. What's the weather like in that RV over there? (laughs) (laughs) Balmy. Okay. Cookie with the cream. The cookie in the knockoff is not sweet to me. It is very... But but I I also don't know how sweet of... I don't know if I'm not... Yeah. All right. So let's try this cookie. I'm not not a cookie connoisseur. I don't know the correct way to eat a cookie. Oh. We're all friends here. <laughs> Tony said, you can eat a cookie whatever damn you want. All right. Um, I will say, I'm trying the Oreo cookie by itself. It is also not sweet, but I would say it's more chocolatey. Oh, see, that's shots fired. See, okay, just as a rule, though, if you had given me the other cookie and not told me it wasn't an Oreo, no chance i say, yo, this is a knockoff. I'm I would not, never, like, upset. I would never correct you on you it. You mix this in ice cream and call it cookies and cream? Never. No, no one cares. Nobody knows the difference. But I'm telling you, I, well, let me try the cookie first. I'm trying to chew quickly so there's not dead air on the show. <laughs> <laughs> dead air might be our best bet. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, what, what over here? What do you guys got? Yeah, Talk to me. Any any opinions over there? Yeah. I mean, you can't, like you guys said, you can't tell the difference. You don't think you tell the difference at all? Yeah. Like, if you handed me, like, a sleeve of the knockoff ones, I wouldn't be like, oh, what the, this yeah. crap. But. These, guys, these ones are really, really close. Yeah. I think the cookie is actually better on the Oreo. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, Agreed. It's better quality. Okay. Better quality. Cookie. It is. I know it's a small thing, but. No, no, I think you're right on that. It's, the cookies, the cookies are better quality, and the icing is ever so much sweeter for me, in my opinion. The icing tastes yeah. sweeter to me. Um, we, we did really research close. it, and the um, the, there is less sugar in the uh, twist and shouts, so we think you can. It's enough to notice because it's about ten percent less. You did yeah. some like reverse engineering. I, d- I sent it to a lab. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the lab of my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I would say, like I said, I if somebody brought in a knockoff bag of those Oreos, nobody in the place is is complaining. Yeah, no one's gonna complain. Uh, or nobody's gonna really know the difference. So there you go. There's one for you guys that you could actually cut some. Yeah, stuff. if you got like kids you that got, you're sending like to lunch, yes. and you got a bag a ton of lunches, get get, send the, twi- get the twist and chops. They're half the price as an Oreo. Oreo's kind of expensive, so they're half the price as an Oreo, yeah. and you're not cutting that many corners. Um, all right. Let's get on to number. Oh wait, we Oreo have, question. We got Oreo quiz. Um, for, we have two questions for Oreo. How many Oreos come in a standard package? Oh, okay. And how many Oreo flavors are currently on the market? Okay, so double prong question here. Uh, Paul, uh, in the research of this, he did not cheat. But when this was said earlier, I said this was going to be a question on there. So nobody cheat. He had an immediate answer in his head. Now let's he, see if he sticks with it. Yeah, I'm curious to see if you stick with it over there. Oh, it's definitely 45. 45 is his guess. <laughs> Paul said 45. Three rows of 15. It's three rows of 15. That's his, he's confident. <laughs> See, for me, I thought it would be closer to, I thought it would be closer to 12 in each sleeve. I thought it'd be like 36 cookies. 15, like, is like a solid number. Yeah, like, we you can't, know, we can't, I can't go it. that. No, we can't. Do we go over or we go under them? That's really the big. Is there more than 15 cookies in a sleeve? I could see 16 being in a sleeve. Damn. You know? think they would do 16 in a sleeve? I'm trying to think because it's three cookies. I know it's three cookies per serving. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of maybe an easily divisible, and that's not where that 15 really comes in hard. And mm-hmm. 45. I'm like, is there 15? Like, what would that be, 45? I don't, I don't like know. Paul's confident look on his know. face. 39. I okay. I don't, yeah. I don't think. Ooh, How many are I like 39. 39. 13 in a row. <laughs> oh, bad luck, though. Oh, that's horrible <laughs> luck. Uh, <laughs> see, I. I, I was originally sticking with twelve. They seem like bigger cookies, but now he's really got me. He's really got me questioning. I mean, we should probably just go like fourteen, right? Like underneath them. Yeah, I think we got to. I think we got to go under them. <laughs> okay, we'll go. I, I don't think there's more than forty-five cookies. Okay, so with thirteen. So we're gonna go thirty-nine. Yeah, let's go thirty-nine. We'll yeah. go thirty-nine. You guys should still we go s- a non-divisible by three number? <laughs> no. You guys, well, yeah, but just, I'm saying because then we kind of hedge our bets a little. Yeah, but that's not <laughs> a real a guess. Closer. It's not a real guess. It doesn't count. I think we're like overthinking this way too hard. You got all 45. Right. We're not. We're all right, so they're going 45. We're how going many 39. flavors of Oreos? Though? How many? Okay, yeah. is it flavors or is it like styles of Oreos? Like, do you count triple stuff? Yeah, mega everything. Stuff? Yeah, different, uh, so different, that's, that's different. Yeah, same flavors. thing. Like yeah. you know, nacho versus spicy nacho. Like single versus double. So we got what? We have a single, double, mega, thins, chocolate covered, mint, vanilla. There's cookie ones. Yeah. Fudge covered mint ones. 
Like a birthday cake, I know that. Yeah, I saw carrot the cake. Bur- oh, you have carrot cake? I saw Swedish fish once. Oh, it's gross, dude. Um, you're giving them all the answers, though. I know. I know it's like a cinnamon <laughs> bun one. Oh, I did see that one too. Okay, so maybe. Oh, so I'm gonna guess I'm missing. Guys, talk to a louder. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Apparently the, the sound travels pretty far into the RV. Yeah, Tony can hear us a little too well in that RV. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like these microphones pick up what we're saying yeah, and yeah. deliver it right directly to your ear. Yeah, or he's in the same. Like, it almost feels like he's in the same room. I don't some like sort it. Of frequency overcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to be like. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna. I think we should go way above that though. I, I think that we're probably missing like six. So I think it's like eighteen or something. Like it's a good guess. Okay. Twelve. All right, you guys going? All right, they're going 12? Yeah, what do you we want to go higher? No, we can go lower than that. We can go oh, no, higher, oh, than, the higher yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah I was thinking 15. Yeah, 15, I think. Okay, we'll start. go 15 then. Okay. All right. We'll go 15. You guys got 12. How many in the chat? How many flavors chat, you think? Chat, yeah, yeah. Chat, give me how many Oreo flavors. People are Googling it right now. Yeah. Bear Floor is probably looking up the cookie ratio in Taiwan. Or something. <laughs> What's the Oreo market looking like over there? 18. Yeah, he seemed like the same number I did. Mom Bob with the taco flavor. See, I, yeah, we forgot about the taco. You said the taco Doritos, but I forgot all about those. Uh, I don't think I've ever had them, though. I don't think I've ever had them. Uh, that's not true. I have them. They taste exactly like tacos. They're literally taco no. seasoning. All right, what was the answer? All right, so we're going with Oreos in the package. Oreos in the package. How many Oreos in the package? So first off, I'd like to shout out again Allie for how much of a deep dive she did <laughs> okay. on this particular question. Wow, okay, so this is kind of an important answer. So it? the answer is 39. Wow, we actually get it right. But she said according to her research, uh, this is a recent change. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> until 2020, until <laughs> till 2020, it was actually 45. Wow! So, so we're, we're why both. Why would you ever question the fat man? <laughs> 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 he's going the package. All right, so okay, so, so they're currently 39. Currently, th- we'll give them both a point. There. Yep. So we it will give you guys a point for that. And oh. Oreo cookie archive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's Allie's? Allie's. Where, where's this information? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She's doing research. Yeah, Allie, look, Allie does her deep dive. We she Wait. literally started on this three weeks ago. <laughs> She's like an old basement with a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. She's been, yeah, she, she, she printed out like a fake badge and she snuck into the facility. She, she's actually the person they call on Pawn Stars when they have <laughs> Oreo related materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Allie, can you stop on by for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Like you said, so she was kind of snooping around the Oreo basement and found some old packaging. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Uh, flavors 29. I knew it was going to be way more than I thought. I knew it, dude. I, all right, so. Oh. Uh, sorry, what do you give It says, although some websites vary, this was the average. So she actually went to multiple websites and took the average. Okay, so well, I was going to give herself a horn, sorry. All right, so... Pumpkin Spice, they have those. Yeah, they got Pumpkin Spice Oreos. Oh, snap, Pumpkin Spice. Okay, so we were way off. So there's Oreos galore. We went, still went uh, way over there. That's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to put... We got another point for them. Yeah, yeah, I did. Can bear them. Okay. All right, what's next on the taste test? Crackers. Ooh. Cracker, cracker, crackers. Okay. okay. Get these boxes out because okay. these were fucking uh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I, I put this in on the Instagram, but if you don't follow us on Instagram, uh, you should. You should. But I thought that this was really funny. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, I don't know. They're in probably here. Uh, they're in one of those right there. Yeah, it's okay. stacked. Yeah. Um, this is the off brand versus the real brand. Uh, Which one's the again? Uh, I'm going to put it back in the light so they can so, see it. So they're uh, labeled. You can barely see the difference because they completely ripped this branding up. So we thought that was kind of funny. This is Kellogg's brand, and this is what? This is like... Savor it. Savor it. So whatever the hell a savor it is. I am convinced they these, of all of them, are going to be made from the same place. Yeah. I don't know why, but that's my instinct. Um, I actually... Okay, so the reason we actually did this whole event was because I told them that I had been to a bunch of facilities and i know that like places like trader joe's and stuff mark stuff as their own brand when really it could be like a nestle product so you know that's why we want to do this and see where those are at okay so there, here's a okay yeah. so, so clubhouse this is our generic generic first. one okay that's a good cracker not gonna lie i like a good club cracker i'm gonna say that i do love a good club cracker and i told paul yesterday I wonder why that is. <laughs> His response was, it has butter on it. So yeah. I, I think he's right on that. I think that's the only reason. Same with Ritz. That's the only reason I really like it is it has butter on it. Okay, that's a good cracker. That's a really good cracker. For an off-brand, that's a really good cracker. I don't know. This is as close as I've ever, it could be. I don't know. I don't know the difference. I can't taste the difference. If they're different, I'm going to look at them now. Now I'm curious. I literally don't even know which one I picked up now. 
I, I went like. Yeah, if any of the darker ones, actually the faker one. These ones really might have came off the same assembly line. <laughs> 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 just divide just two boxes. I can't taste the difference. I'm not 100% sure there is a difference. I don't think so. All right, there you go, guys. There's our number. There's our first one that we're, we're almost 100 percent sure they're made in the exact same factory. Yeah. Go to Aldi, get these savorites. They're half the price. Clubhouses, yeah, they're for like a the, dollar. They're, they're like a dollar. They're half the price of the real ones, and I'm pretty sure they're made in the exact same factory. This, if I could show this on light, you would see this is the exact same cracker. They are the exact same width. If I put them on top of each other, they're the exact same size. Okay, I just ate both at the same time. That didn't help me. I know this is gonna sound <laughs> that's definitely not going to help you. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but I can taste a little bit more blood butter in the Kellogg's one. Oh, okay. okay. No, no, that's fair. Butter. I can't. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. mean, I wouldn't like. I mean, they're as cl- <laughs> close as they're going to get to one another. Tony's suspicious of your. <laughs> All right, well, let's at least look at the calories and see if there's anything to that, Paul. No. Four crackers, 70 calories. Four crackers, 70 calories. The exact same grams of fat. I don't know. This is sus, dude. Seems like... I don't think, I don't, I'm not discounting you, Paul. But I get you. But it's close. It All right. It's really that close. It's Ritz slash Club Cracker question time. Ooh, real quick. Which is older, Ritz crackers or Club crackers? Which was created first. See, my original instinct right off the bat is Ritz crackers, right? Because They just, just got that old they tiny have, it's, vibe, it's that, the pl- name. The wax the pa- name. that wax paper they're kind of in. Yeah, the Ritz like, Carlton, yeah. the, the, you know, uh, yeah, I think you're not the Ritz, you know, whatever, whatever. Like, uh, Ritz I, has been around I a long. I feel like Club was a, like Kellogg's like attack on Ritz. I also think, Paul, any, any, any theory over there? I was just referring to something. Oh, uh, are you guys, uh, you guys have any actual opinions on this whatsoever? I mean, let's confer without them. Let's confer without him. All right. See my opinion. <laughs> All right. We got it. We got our yeah, don't tell us. <laughs> uh, I would say. Wow. We got a club in the chat. The, right? club, okay. the club is Kellogg's brand. How long has Kellogg's been? Around? Kellogg's been a company for a long time. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Uh, see, my instinct is actually trying to go against that with Club Cracker, but I think Ritz has been around like a zillion years. So I, my instinct is just to say Ritz. What do you think? Is Club Cracker one of those things that's, like, been around for a really long time and then just recently they started, like, buttering it and making, like, a way better flavor out of it? I know. Like, you had to be fancy. You got to be part of the club. Yeah. I mean, maybe Club, the actual Cracker, has been around, like, a zillion years, but recently it's gotten, like, to, like, a real... they started off making, like, you know, Christian, like, church wafers and then decided to go a little bit better in flavor? That's That's what I'm saying. Paul could be on to something. Yeah, that's what Graham Crackers came out for is to stop people from masturbating. What? What? That's a fact. What? 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 You can't just what? You can't just what? You can't just you can't just drop that in a show and be like, all right, everybody back to eating. So the guy who created graham crackers believed that a part of um, sinning was like people's diet. So he his goal was to create a very flavorless. Whoa, whoa, sorry. One more, one more time. What? He his belief was part of sinning was part of uh, people's diets affected their you know, mental capacities, and they sinned more if they had a, ba- a diet. Okay. So he believed in a very plain, bland diet would help you be more, less sinful. S- more scrupulous. Yeah. So he would, so he created graham crackers as a type of food item to eat to as part of. you from your sexual urges. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's absolutely bizarre. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so every time you eat a graham cracker, it's little. See, now I want to switch back to Now I want to switch to Clubhouse. Take that as my guess. You want to go Club? Let's what go Club. You, we'll go whatever they're not going. Yeah, whatever. I, I was going to say Club. I bet you Kellogg's. We're going, going with Ritz. <laughs> all right, we're going with Ritz. Yeah, it's the only way to win. Yeah, the only way to win. We're going to go Ritz. We don't agree with anything you guys say. All right. Yeah. Booze. You come to booze. <laughs> DJ said he better go pick up some crackers, some graham crackers, dude. Knock that sexual tension right off, dude. See, people say cold shower or graham crackers where it's at. Wow. 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 There's a lot of research done for this one. Wow. Okay. So the answer is Club Crackers. But. But. Uh-huh. I feel like there's always a but to all these. But yeah. I'll lean in a little bit there. All right. What is that? So Ritz Crackers, 1934. Okay. Club Crackers, take a swing. 1742. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say 1897. Tone, you want to take a swing? That's something really close, like something close to thirty-four. Also, eighteen fifty-three. Wow! Apparently, Club. that's when Keebler was founded. Wow! And they were one of their first products. Club crackers. Wow. See, I think 
you know, the only thing that's not surprising is that... Is I, when did the Civil War end? <laughs> right in the middle of the Civil War, though. <laughs> Yo, we need to start making some crackers. <laughs> I th- the only thing I can think of is, like, the one thing about club crackers is you take a bite, and like Paul said, oh, he can taste the butter, right? Now, the, the butter is, like, a known ingredient in it. Yeah. When it first came out, I guarantee you could eat it and be like, this tastes like a cracker, and you don't realize that it's jammed with butter, <laughs> right? So I think there is something... Ni- I think you could get away for 100 years without people knowing it's terrible for Why you. Why are these so good? Yeah, now, <laughs> there was no calories. Club is a calorie. type. Ritz is a brand. But you're saying... Club crackers as a type. Keebler Club crackers started the type. Okay. Their type exists because they Keebler started, started created that. Okay, started the type. Okay, so we'll give them like a, a quarter of a point somehow. Wait, how do we get a quarter? Of a <laughs> <laughs> is this is this the same scoring system as last time? We got like three paper. Uh, all right, I'll, all right. I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys a full point. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. What's next on the taste? In that list? was a good scoring system last week. Uh, the drink actually is next on the taste. I thought I would save it kind of near last right. there. So we all have purple cups somewhere. Uh, this was kind of interesting. Uh, if you guys are, you know, on a diet trying to be healthy, and you might have seen these drinks, Sparkling Ice. Uh, this is their uh, rival, Sparkling Frost. Uh, very similar bottle. Uh, put it in the light. I keep forgetting to put the light. Uh, very similar bottle, almost exactly the same print. Almost everything in the thing looks exactly the same. Knockoff brand, about 30 cents cheap or something like that. It's half the price. Oh. These are a dollar, those are 50 cents. Okay, there you go. Half the price for one of the ones right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the uh, with these flavors right here. We're going to do... Yeah. I'm going to pass it. Right. This so knock off on the right. Don't forget that. You got to come out back to the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. It takes a minute to get it over uh, yeah, let me get Let me get to that trailer over here. Uh, hey. Throw hey, it to him. Knock on that door. <laughs> hey, get over that trailer. Come on in. <laughs> okay. So now you guys both have a little bit of frost. That's the knockoff. Let's taste the knockoff. Cheers, yo. This is my cup. Delightful. All right. I'm very, I'm very much oh, enjoying it. thanks for finishing that. Oh, well, I thought that was, that was that's exactly what Tony did. Tony finished it off. They were both the same thing. No, no, well, mine was. Poured, Yours is, was the, the knockoff, and mine oh. was the, the name brand. Oh, I didn't know. That. <laughs> I poured the knockoff in here. Yeah, and I put the name brand. in here. Wow, you should have said that. I didn't know. <laughs> Needs I a knockoff. Like, why would we taste different things? Then we're gonna switch. I'm not drinking out of the same cup. Come on, we, we're, this is a professional we're, well, show. Then you're gonna need a bunch more cups that we don't have. <laughs> no, finish it now. Oh, oh, now we're just mixing things. Come on, there's nothing in here. How refined is your palate? <laughs> well, then I needed. <laughs> All right, let me just this swing one. out of the bottle at this point. Yeah, at this point we should just pour well, it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do in that RV. They're just hanging out in there. All right, let me see. This is the, this is the real one now. Yeah, it's like this is the. Ooh, one. ooh! I hate the real one. Yeah, I actually prefer this. I hate fake one. Ooh, ooh! The real one's gross. Why, why is the fake one so much better? Where's the fake one? Give me this one again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really confused. I gotta try this one more time. It's weird because I tried the real one first and I didn't hate it, but then I tried the fake one and it tastes better. I love the second one. Yeah, yeah the real one tastes like. Tastes, I think the real one tastes like straight fake sugar. Yeah. I think they're trying too hard with the fake one or with the real one. Like Tony, there's too much flavor. Here you go, Tony. No certified synthetic colors, dude. <laughs> Apparently that red is not synthetic. All right, so that's actually groundbreaking. Sparkling Eyes, a very well-named Straight brand. Straight garbage. Straight trash. Uh, can we agree on that? Yeah. Does everybody agree this one's better? This is much better. I don't know why that is. Okay, so there we go. That's actually kind of interesting. All right, I'm super excited for that. Sparkling Ice, name brand, complete trash. A bunch of idiots made this. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Uh, yeah. Apparently, if you take it and like water it down a touch, it's much better. This is a brand called Pure Agua. They make sparkling frost. It's a complete knockoff. Black raspberry versus black raspberry. Same flavor, same bottle. Um, same exact ounces and everything. Same exact ounces, like... same exact calories, same everything all the way down to the bottom, except for the fact that the flavor is not the same. Which is odd. Do we want to try the other two? Or we gotta I mean, get the we other gotta, I'm curious now. Yeah, now I'm curious too. I was going to skip it, but now I'm All right. much more curious. Here, I'll give you Frost first. All right, yeah. The, the Frost brand is bringing the heat, so we're going to have to... There you go. There you go. Hey, you guys still out in that trailer? <laughs> Water. All right. What are we going with? Uh, orange mango this time. Orange mango. This is this is the knockoff. Do you have any in there? Whatever. Okay. Okay. You're refined palate. <laughs> Got it. Bunch of morons over there. <laughs> I can't believe you guys make it anywhere in that trailer. <laughs> that does smell good. All right, here's the. That's the. That was the knockoff. This is the real deal. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh god, what is with so the much real? worse? It's so much worse. Oh my god. It's so much worse. You got like four flavors in that cup. <laughs> <laughs> no way, I nailed this one down. <laughs> Tony has the, the palate of, he's like a Somali ale. Your there. tongues literally can separate the. <laughs> There's layers. <laughs> <laughs> His tongue has actually been certified <laughs> by the national board. All right. Uh, any flavor difference over there for you guys? I I really, the fake the fake sugar is so strong in the, sec, in the real one. It's yeah, so strong. It's so much worse. I don't quite. They're exact. I'm same not flavor. a huge fan of that flavor in general. In general, in general, I don't like it either. But the the fake one is so much better. The fake one has done something with the sugar that's just uh, seamless. The other one literally tastes like a Splenda. I don't. I don't like that at all. I don't like when the fake sugar is like wham. Actually, well, we have a sound effect for that now. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's doing to my palate. Yeah, that's what it's doing to my palate. You guys, same thing or different? Yeah, same thing. You get the fake sugar is much stronger. In the, we got in the, real the yeah. we got the generic at Aldi. Yeah, generic at Aldi's fifty the, cents. I recommend it. Yeah, you get yeah. to an Aldi. So far, we got the uh, you can get the crackers from everywhere, and you got to get these ice drinks are actual trash. I'm just gonna write down trash. That should right. help us with our notes. Uh, here's our, a, here's some, give them uh, some lids. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, but it's breaking the fourth wall. For <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, and then uh, Lame got so, a question for us. All right, uh, in keeping with our, our current theme, yeah. the number of ice flavors, not frost flavors, ice okay. flavors. What Very are we thinking? Speci- um, well, two different products. <laughs> there's got to be a lot, in my opinion. I I mean, would every time I go to that aisle, there's like there's like a certain amount. There's it's a ton of them yeah. there. But, but is that but is that but that really might be all of them now that I'm thinking about it, right? Because you go there's like all right, here's ten flavors, but that might be it. That might be all they have. Yeah, maybe like. Well, I don't know. The way Allie's been doing research, there's probably like 50. <laughs> Do you act like she's the one out there creating the flavors? <laughs> like, well, back in the 1930s. Well, well, yes, according to my research, <laughs> yes, uh, there weren't enough flavors, so I created 10 more. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine any more than 15. I think 15 is a solid guess. Yeah, just flat? I think, yeah. Okay. Mm, maybe a dozen and then yeah. some extras. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go with just a solid 15. We're going to say a dozen. Mm. Going dozen? Dozen? Oh, okay, so that was our first guy. Right. Right, so 12 and 15. Okay, that's pretty similar. Chat, any idea? If anybody has any idea of these drinks, these ice drinks, let us know. Lamb, what do you got? Give us the... I'll give the chat a yeah. half second here. Okay. Um, I, I I bo- I've been buying, which, which makes me mad. Is I've, actually, I've never bought these, though, either. Uh, so see, I have. Like, I, I thought I saw them on the shelf. They're like five calories. I'm like, they look like kind of like a Kool-Aid, like a sizzle, you know, a little mm-hmm. sparkling Kool-Aid. I bought them before. I end up having like three in the house. I end up drinking one or two of them, and then the other one just sits there because I'm like, eh, it wasn't really that great. And I'm never that excited about it. But that that frost flavor was substantially better. And if yeah. that's really only five calories, then I would drink that. Uh, but <laughs> 45, 45, probably right. <laughs> 11. You just be putting other things in the <laughs> chat, <Paul. laughs> You can do whatever you want. I was questioning my mom. Okay. Uh, All, right. Yeah. All right, what do you got? What's the answer? There are 19. Oh, <laughs> so... so Six, 16 regular and apparently three seasonal flavors. Oh, I would love to know what those seasonal flavors are. Pumpkin Doesn't flavors. have it listed. Okay. Well, I, can o- I can only ask our producer to do so much work. Yeah. First. Um, I, we have one more, but I can't. Oh, oh. That's cereal. This is hilarious. Okay, so we have one more one more thing we're going to do. We're going to do the Frosted Flakes. Um Versus the frosted. This one is another one I, I would bet it's almost made in the same factory. That's my a bet, but it might be really that simple to make. Uh, I don't think it's made in the same factory, but I do think there's a factory that just makes, like, Seriously. like knockoff cereals. Okay. Like, for all of this. Like, for... I'm going to close my eyes. All right, yeah, there you go. Mm. That'll that'll solve the mystery. This tastes like Frosted Flakes. I couldn't even tell... Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't tell you the last time I had Frosted Flakes. It was not a cereal that was, like, for me as a kid. Like, <laughs> for some reason, it was, like, one of the few cereals that was, like, not allowed in the house. Right, Probably right. because it's, like, on the box that it's, like, covered in sugar, yeah. even though the other ones are, like, secretly covered in sugar. I can have Cookie Crisp. I don't know. Which is different. just a box of cookies in a bowl. Maybe. Yeah. I, well, yeah, we were talking about this the other day. As, like, a child, you're like, why can't I have cookie crisp every day? Like, why can't my mom just let me have cookie crisp? As an adult, you're like, it is simply irresponsible to even buy the shit and put yeah. it on my shelf. We had this discussion at the grocery store the other day. Cause yeah, like, we... Because I picked up cereal as Raisin Bran's Crunch, and I was like, walk by the cookie crisp, and we're like, that's all sugar. Like, you why am I going to eat that? You literally can't buy it as an adult. You can't buy cookie crisp. It's so irresponsible. I can't taste the difference in these two. So, if there is a difference, it's very, very, very small. I can taste the difference. 
Why? What's the difference? Frosted flakes thicker. thicker. Oh, so you're saying like the flakes are different? Yeah. Yeah. yeah interesting. Get more, you get more of a crunch of the flakes. Okay. Flakes. Okay. I can see something on like that. You got any of that? You got any of that vibe? I don't know. I can't taste it. I could say so. I yeah. could say I th- feel like they, they might be a little more substantial. Yeah. Maybe they'll hold up to the milk a touch better. Hmm. I bet you but the, but flavor wise, I think they are flavor wise there is that same. Bas- basically the same like thing. You get, I get more of a crunch with the frosted flake. What mm-hmm. I feel like it is, is maybe great value ones are thinner because then they can sell you less cereal. Yeah. For less money. Yeah. Yeah, that's possibly true. I, I think <laughs> I need some more research on the Oreos. <laughs> Uh, we're actually out of Oreos, Tone. It's weird. We're, we're gonna be doing the research on the Oreos in just a second, so don't you <laughs> don't you worry about the research. Uh, but they were it was like half the price. A hundred percent half the price. I'm saying I, I would be impressed if most. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. We're about to find it right now if if somebody can tell the difference. Okay, so, All right, any, so what's the quiz on that one? So, what year did Tony the Tiger become the mascot for Frosted Flakes? When was the Revolutionary War? Seventeen seventy six. I'm not sure that has any relevance to Frosted Flakes. Um, when was Tony the Tiger? 54? Uh, 54 is your guess? 1950, wow, I thought it was later than that. I would say later than that. I would say I like, like 60s. 60s? Uh, 60s or 70s? I don't even know if they had like... There wasn't they people really on TV. TV. Yeah, yeah. They didn't need mascots. When's, when did the TV come out? 50s was big. Like That was like I Love Lucy. Anybody stuff. over the age of 50, when did the TV come out? <laughs> maybe, maybe late 50s? Be like 59? early 60s, okay. or, or late, yeah, like late 59, 61, somewhere in there. Like, I, I, it would be surprising to me if it was before that. It wouldn't surprise me if it was like 79, though. Like, literally, like, I don't know. Yeah, I know it's before it's born. That's all I know. Uh, it's always been. Um, 1987, uh, 69. Uh, uh, <laughs> Our Tony the Tiger. Tony's born Oh, that Tony. No. Oh. Um, I see what you did there. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah! Nah, <laughs> I do Take like that button though. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. A, all right, what are we settling on? I'm gonna settle on. I think that's the late fifties. Okay, late fifties. Like fifty-eight. Mate. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go fifty-eight. You guys, fifty-four. Is that what you said? Okay, I, it was probably right in there. I actually, I we're hedging on that, but I, I really think there's a possibility it's much later. Nineteen fifty-two. Oh! oh! Damn it! That really surprises me. Coming in with two points. They're no. <laughs> yeah, well, we got three, so yeah, yeah, don't get so excited. It's three to four now. It's really dice. It's that right was a big them. point, though. I think that was a big. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. Somebody you def- went from getting somebody, stomped to being somebody, reasonably somebody close. Somebody define the big point thing first, <laughs> so I can understand. Some points are bigger than others. I don't know the difference. All right, so <laughs> it's the size of the point. <laughs> It seems like they're deciding the size <laughs> of the point out there in the trailer. I mean, in the RV, sometimes points it's matter. The, yeah. It's not the difficulty of the question. It's the size of the point. Uh, all right. Okay. So all right. So now. That sounds sexual. All right. <laughs> we have. <laughs> all right. So we have the super mega bonus question. Super mega bonus question. Oh, I didn't know there was a bonus question. Mm-hmm. Oh, give it to me. So we have to order our products. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We did do that. We did say that. Okay, so order the products in which you think came out first to which came out the most recent. So in order, I'm going to rattle them off. Uh, well, well, it's definitely the Clubhouse Crackers when they came yeah, out. Yeah, we did get we <laughs> did get a little bit of a heads, <laughs> heads up on that. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's so true. we had Clubhouse, and they're only the only the name brands. We're not worried about you know, knockoffs. So. Okay, so we got Doritos, Oreos, Crackers. Uh, so so we're going to go. Kale, uh, Frosted Flakes and Ice. We're going to go Crackers. I got to go Frosted Flakes. Yeah, I like that. I like Frosted Flakes. I like it's Oreos or Doritos next for me. What did we eat? Actually, Oreos might be earlier than Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes were in the 50s? You think Oreos were around the 50s? Earlier than that. It's chocolate cookies. I know what I thought. Yeah, I know. I just thought, like, that's like processed sugar, so I thought I that would be like... I think they're really early. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll trust your judgment. So we'll go Oreos, Doritos. And no, I think Oreos before flakes. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That is not what I would guess, but okay. Oreos, flakes, flakes Doritos, Frosty ice. Flakes. Doritos, and then ice. Okay. Crackers, Oreos, flakes. All right, All right you so you got we're the, switching um, Oreos and Flakes. I think Flakes okay. came out before. So it's going to come down to whether Oreos came out before Frosted Flakes. Okay. okay. But other than that, everything else seems like. All right, let's go to the uh, official. Alley produced. This is the one I was told not. Don't cheat. <laughs> and I didn't. So. Club Crackers. 
1853. Okay. We had already established that one. Yeah, yeah. That was that was and it was ancient. Number two, Oreos. Wow. 1912. What? What? <laughs> dude, I would hate to try the first Oreo, but it was garbage, <laughs> dude. Third, Frosted Flakes, okay. 1952. Yeah. So, right, they had Tony the Tiger to start. Oh, from the very from jump. From the jump. Oh, that's important to note. Okay. Then Doritos, 1966. What? That, that, wow. Even that surprises me. I think they were invented at Disneyland, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And then ice was at what? At the Frito-Lay. 80, 87? Uh, 1992. Oh, that was close. All right. Okay. So, okay. Fantastic. All right. Let's get into this blind taste test. Um, <laughs> TJ said the original Oreos probably had drugs in them. That's probably true. Uh, the f- true fact, Oreo content was stolen from Hydrox. I don't know what Hydrox Hydrots? is. Hydrox? Yeah. They're, they're the same exact thing, except they were first. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well, so you're saying Hydrox is before 1912? Yeah. Well, okay. okay. My, my my thought on that is, <laughs> just take the take the headphones off. <laughs> oh my god! All right, you want to go first, or you want me to go I first? I'll go first. Put the right, stupid so mask. Put on your my mask head. on. All right. Um, Tone, what do you want to choose? You choose what we're gonna t- taste test them. So this way, I can't catch the yeah the COVID, eye COVID. Right? <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> the <eye> COVID. <laughs> you can stick it in your hat, uh, probably, Paul. That's right. I'll just hit this sound effect. Oh, uh, you're gonna hit the. <laughs> you're gonna hit too many buttons. You're not. The sound effect button. Oh, look. Oh, the sound effect. over here. <laughs> there it is. Nailed it. <laughs> I think you guys gotta start off with the Oreos again. All right. All right. All right so, guys, so, I'm here. so the way it works, Tone, you have to choose <laughs> whether you. We, we don't have to do the same thing. You choose whether you're giving them the fake Oreo, right. or the real Oreo. Mm-hmm. That's it. Okay. And they have to guess the correct one. Okay. All right. Give it to me, Lamb. Oh, shit. Oh, well, hi. Well, I feel like I should flinch, but <laughs> you put like a turd in my hand, I'd be really upset. <laughs> Here it is, Nick. Here's your Oreo. All right. Do you want me to feed it to you? Uh, no, no, no. Please don't. I'll. I'll, I'll... <laughs> why is my Why is my broken? Just, just, just. Protruding my my tooth, just doink doink doink. All right, <laughs> you'll find out where the Oreo is. <laughs> All right, All right. I'm gonna take a one. I'm gonna take yeah wherever lamb is. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm gonna take one crisp bite and then I'm gonna chew this cracker. Separate. All right. Mm. 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 Am I supposed to guess after I eat it? Yeah, you d- you have to determine whether you think it is a real Oreo that was a knockoff. or a knockoff. I think this is a knockoff. Pretty sure that was the knockoff. That is correct on both accounts. Let's go, baby. Oh. Paul, give me a high five from the trailer. Trailer. <laughs> trailer. Trailer five. Trailer, trailer five. five. All right. Paul, you so get the test again? That confirms it, it then, right? I mean, I, that was almost, I was almost instinct, almost instant for me. I was like, the first bite, I was like, this doesn't taste sweet. Mm-hmm. So that almost changes my opinion a little bit of everything. All right. Everything's up in the air now. <laughs> I think we should try one more. Yeah. I think you should, Tony. Tony, why don't we blindfold you? Why don't we blindfold Tony and, and give him a cookie? No, we blindfold you. All right, so you're, you're, run, you're running the show. You're okay, I'm here. running the show here. All right, we're going to do... Um, Hold on. There we go. That's, all right. that's what I'm talking about right there. The club cracker wasn't really up for debate, really, really. But but we're gonna, we're, I'm going to do chips, though. Okay. <laughs> I don't see the other chip, though. There's one over all these chips. Where is... Where is why is Doritos the, never chips. Mind, I'm, not any uh, I'm missing the other Doritos. This show is so low brow sometimes. Oh, here we go. I got him. Okay. All right. I'm actually missing a cup. I don't want to know what. Oh, because yeah. Tony ate it. Never mind. Sorry. Tony's blindfold doesn't seem that professional just from the camera. <laughs> All right. It seems like a, it seems like a sun visor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah, you look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, uh, Paul, you're giving him a chip. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Does it matter which one you're giving him? Uh, I was gonna as long as you know which one you're okay. giving, it doesn't cool. matter. I'll give him that one too then. <laughs> I was. I thought you were coming in for the face. <laughs> Just messing with you. Oh, that was real. I think that's the fake one. Both confirmed? Yes. Or both are sure? Um, yes, yeah. one way or the other? Mine's real. Oh, okay. Lamb says his Dorito, and he is correct. Paul, what did you give him? I gave him a Dorito. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Seems like we're blowing ahead in this one. <laughs> Tony thought it was fake. 
No, no, that's what I said. We're blown oh, ahead. Oh, we're blown ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought, we're I thought you were talking to uh, we right. as a general. So now, because Paul had a strong opinion on the flakes, I think we got to do that next. All right. All right. Yeah. Jesus, this is a yeah, coin keep, toss for me. You can keep yours on. Right. I'll, do the, I'll do the final one, whatever the final one is. All right. Yeah, this is a coin toss. Tone, uh, pick out your frosted flakes, whether you want real or fake, and then just kind of you know sprinkle them in Paul's mouth or whatever. Can you make sure Tony doesn't give me something else? I can't promise any of that. Liam, I got you. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying to decide frosted what I flakes? want to give you first. Yeah, frosted flakes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell in my hand they're not frosted flakes. <laughs> fucking crackers, like, dude. Just he eat just his ball. <laughs> he just broke up a bunch of crackers and put it in his hand. <laughs> that's why we. That's why we put you jackasses in the RV. <laughs> This is a a professional show. (laughs) Everybody, grow up. All right, Lamb, touch your head back here. There we go. Here they are. Oh, yeah. I said Frosted Flakes. (laughs) There they are, Frosted Flakes. I think those are Frosted Flakes. I don't think I trust Tony enough to even know. No, you can't say that. (laughs) They're both called Frosted Flakes. (laughs) Well, I'm going to be correct. (laughs) Mine are Frosted Flakes. (laughs) Lamb's going with Frosted Flakes, so... (laughs) Which, you one, got, which one's a pen? <laughs> Neither of you guys have a mask on. I'm going to go with the This thing the is really brand. derailed here. <laughs> name brand. Name sure. brand. All right, Paul, uh, he's going name brand. What did you eat? Somehow I got cheesy frosted flakes. <laughs> cheesy flakes. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot be trusted. <laughs> did, did you ever end up eating anything re- relative? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, put your what? stupid... All right, put your mask back on and eat one of the frosted right. flakes. Yeah, but it's it's like the dumb leading the dumber in here. It's just we cannot we, be. We no, got, they got, cannot be trusted. We cannot. All right, all right. Let's give them frosted flakes. <laughs> Come right up. Uh, I can already <laughs> tell you're not doing it. No, it's coming. Yeah, no. I can tell you're not. You're up to something, Tone. I'm not even looking. I can tell you're up to something. Get up, Paul. Just by your tone. <laughs> His tone is a little sinister. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's, oh, it's a microphone. Little, it's a little sinister. Paul, any guess? What do you think, Paul? <laughs> I guess I get. I don't have to wear this anymore. No, no, but we're, everybody's happy with it, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, the they're the fake frosted flakes, but why are they so fake? <laughs> <laughs> was it real or fake? It was fake. It was fake. Oh, very well, very impressive, Paul. Okay, so you got yours were real. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yours were real. So, all right, final one. I can't do the drink. I'm not going to know it. It's got to be... No, it's got to be the drink. It's got to be the crackers, dude. The drink, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you the drink. Yeah, okay, You're right. going to figure it out. All right, all right. We're going to skip this one. Okay. No, you guys are not going to skip this one. You guys are absolutely in on this one. All right. Put your, put your blindfold uh, on. You can put a blindfold on. Sorry. Yeah, you right. can't watch me pour something in a cup. Put your blindfold on. All right. You put the blindfold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> what happened to y'all's blindfold? How is it immediately broken? <laughs> they didn't even put it on once. Call it that, we should just call that like children's corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Here comes your drink. Open uh, your mouth. Mmm. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you, Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you the last time I poured a drink in a human's mouth. I don't like that one, which makes me think it's fake. I don't. It tastes like fake sugar. But I really couldn't tell you. Can I have another sip? <laughs> is it weird if I ask for another sip? <laughs> if you face me and do it, it is very weird. Come here. Is it the fake one? Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't like that at all. I think it's fake. You th- but you like the fake one. I don't. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Then it's real then. I'm sorry. You're right. It's real then. That's the real one because I don't like it. So it's the real one. Man, that's really confusing. <laughs> uh, yes, I, do, I think it's the real one. You got it wrong. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. <clears throat> My taste buds don't mean shit anymore. <laughs> all right. Thanks uh, for breaking the mask. Yeah, we're all done with it. What did you guys get? Tony got it right. Did he? I got it wrong? Damn. That shit. I, don't, I guess I don't like it. I think I said right. What? Tony got it right. He guessed the right one. Okay, I guessed it wrong is what you're saying. Okay, so. To recap, we have uh, Doritos uh, were a yes, there was a difference. Yeah. We tasted the difference. Uh, Oreos, hardly a difference, but when we both ate them, we were both able to tell that they were not Oreos. I think that's important to note. Uh, crackers were exactly the same. Uh, we're convinced they're the same cracker. Uh, ice was a very big difference, even though, I guess, back we're to We're just back. not a fan of this product, apparently, yeah, in general. Yeah, in general, in general. Uh, and the Frosted Flakes were very, very similar. Paul said he could taste the difference. I don't know if I could, but... Uh, On the blind taste test, once Paul gave me that little thickness tip, I could tell the difference. Okay. But important. it was not a flavor difference. Okay, so it wasn't that, that drastic. Okay, very good to note. Um, fantastic. All right, well, what time is it right now? 
We still have time. We've been going an hour. We got we got time for them to do their punishment. Yeah, that's true. Y'all, well, I think. <laughs> I think I already had the punishment. <laughs> that's true. For your punishment, though, we took every ingredient and we mixed it all together in a blender for you there. So oh, that's yeah. your. <laughs> everybody gets their own bowl everybody, to taste. Yeah, everybody gets their own bowl to taste. Everything. That's your trivia. <laughs> that's your trivia punishment. <laughs> <laughs> your expression when somebody, Renzo. <laughs> your expression when you were handed that ball, Tony, <laughs> looks like you had been just given the wrong thing, dude. All right, uh, how is it? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Tony making like a big scoop. He's gonna if he's gonna do it, he's gonna try and get. All that right, way. how was it? Paul? No, Tony, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony, no. How, Paul, how was it? One to ten. It was like a Seven. <laughs> hey, minus, that's a, seven. That's minus seven. Minus no. seven. Okay, that's not bad. Um, Tony, pretty good. <laughs> the fact that you're not giving it zeros or ones is shocking. It's to shocking me. to me too. Um, <laughs> let's go right in here. We're gonna jump into um, some sports ball for you guys. We uh, there was a lot of stuff this weekend, and we didn't want to save it till Thursday. So let's get it. Tony here. drops back. Catcher punch near the rim. Slam. Dunk touchdown sports ball. All right, let's get into some sports ball. Uh, these knuckleheads are still going to be here, but we got to at least cut to the camera so we can show you guys some stuff here. Uh, all right, so the best thing we saw all weekend was the same thing that if you watch any football at all, you have seen. But if you haven't seen it, we're going to treat you to a little Hail Mary here. Let's rock and roll it. End of the game. Just let's note this the Bills are winning by four. They had just scored, too. They had just come down the field and scored with like 30 seconds left yeah. on a miraculous drive. It was wonderful. Everybody assumed the game was over, and then with 11 seconds left, this what this happens. Shotgun. Murray out of the pocket. Seven seconds. Six seconds. Falling away. Oh, you can't even see him in there. With one second left on the clock, the game is over. Uh, literally, you watch sports all year. They said the last time this happened was 2015. They said the last time a Hail Mary was caught to get, end the game like that. And it was in Arizona. And correct. it was in Arizona. That's correct. What a great karma. It was in Arizona. Against them? Though? Against them. Green Bay did it to them, so they ended up losing that. Um, what did you call that, Paul? Cardinals karma or something? Yeah, Cardinals karma. Cardinals karma, so I like that. Uh, yeah, they finally got their chance. Um after the game, Kyler Murray, who's the touch, uh, the, the quarterback that threw the pass, uh, tweeted out uh, a really great tweet, which I liked. It was, shit. His name is Hopkins, so hop down there somewhere. Uh, just throw it up in the air, hops down there somewhere. Uh, I thought that was really great. What are the memes? Is that like... Like what? The blue guy is he something? Like I ice know. cold? Like he's maybe ice it or might be. Like maybe it. ice cold. Yeah, it might be. I don't know, Paul. I'm not. Uh, a, I'm not a. I'm, not, I'm just curious. Emojis, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not an emoji guy. I'm, yeah, I'm not an emoji guy either, so I don't really know what that means. But uh, she hop down there somewhere. All right, what else? <laughs> He'll find it. I just love it, dude. I just love the fact that, like, in his eyes, he was like, look, if I'm going to throw it, I'm going to throw it in that direction. Uh, what else we got? Uh, uh, your boy. Me a coke. Um, oh, yeah. All right, so I like Tiger Woods. Uh, I know a lot of people don't, but I like Tiger Woods. I still root for him. And I said this off air when we watched Tiger Woods. I don't watch Tiger Woods because I think he's – uh, a nice guy or somebody that I would love to hang around with. There are certain athletes in sports that, to me, they're so much better than everybody else that even if I dislike them, I at least want to watch them because I know one day they will be considered the great of their time. Tiger Woods is the example of that for me. I don't think he's the greatest human being to be around, um, but his golf game for the last 20 years has been so far above everybody else's in a sport where everybody swings the club the exact same way. It's so yeah, bizarre. It's that on some, the same course. Same course, uh, same ball, same club, same everything, and for, and for some reason he's that much better. But this past weekend he had... His worst hole in the history of his entire career, and it was comical. So I thought we'd had to show it to you guys. Let's bust that widescreen out for him. Here's the first shot on a par three. Supposed to get it there on the green and hit it in in two putts. Gets it on the green. Gets it on the green. Too much backspin. A little sploosh. So if you don't know golf, that's a two-stroke penalty. He drops it from right there. He gets a second shot. That's all right. This is bullshit, though. This lands on the green. Too much backspin. Look how that rough doesn't stop it, dude. With and that's ball number two. So now he's up to that. Now he's somehow in here in a really great position. Uh, this is a six shot. Six shot. Oops. And then that one goes in the water. So uh, Tiger on one. 
<laughs> feeling is so genuine. genuine and real, and all of us that have played yeah. golf have that exact. If you've quality. ever played golf and you've ever been in a sand bunker, if I mean this, if you've ever been in a sand bunker, you have hit a ball completely clean and shot it 40 yards in the yeah. wrong direction. It happens to everybody, everybody. watching. And watching it happen to Tiger is kind of funny. Um, so he ended up scoring a 10, a 7 over, completely ruins his entire tournament. You never see it happen. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to. Building. You just bring the sound out if you want to. Uh, the guy that won it was DJ, uh, the guy that uh, he was playing. Yeah, right there, yeah, yeah, yeah well, he actually did, for some reason we haven't pulled up. But there he is. DJ was the one that actually won it. That is not live coverage. Or that is not real coverage. There was nobody at the event, so that cannot be people. Uh, maybe it is, right? Maybe that's like the... No, it's there just was people there. Like there the was woods. people there. Yeah. Okay, so maybe this was like the actual final putt or something. Um, DJ, yeah, a really nice guy, uh, took a few years off a while back. Uh, had some substance abuse problems. Got his life straight. Is married to Paulina Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky's daughter. So shout out. To the, just you know, gets props on that all by itself. Um, ended up winning. Really great, great story. So that was really fun. Uh, anything else? That's it, man. We had a blast today, man. Um, might have to start eating more knockoff products. That's what I'm trying. Oh, to- we're also gonna try more. So if you have. Some uh, like that you love. Yes. Let us know. Yeah. If you have some knockoff products that you swear by, I know my aunt is swears that real cream cheese and fake cream cheese are not the same. She said Philadelphia is that much better. What else does your mom swear by? There's another product that she swears you can't cut corners with. It might be it might be another cheese. To be honest, it's probably cheese. Uh, Velveeta cheese probably should swear down. Yeah. I don't think down. Velveeta is technically even allowed to be called cheese. Why not? Because there's, there's no actual cheese in it. Oh, fascinating. I think it's a cheese flat product. Yeah. Uh, so. Jared, what's up, man? I didn't know you were here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and do this a little bit more often. We're going to bring some knockoff products on the show and try them and let you guys know where you can actually save a penny. Uh, so far today, we learned that the sparkling ices are overpriced. We learned that the Even re- at 50 cents, overpriced. Yeah, Oreos uh, do have a nice backup plan. Uh, club crackers are exactly the same no matter where you buy them and what box. Um, so, really fun. I had a good time. We will be back Thursday. Probably a very different style show. We're probably going to come back with some facts and some stories and some uh, game shows, man. Um but I had a blast, man. I'm Nick. I'm Kevin. We are the two dumb idiots, man. If you guys have anything you want to send it to us, brand, let us know. We will put it in the old knockout or knockoff. Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in. I will see you guys on Monday. We will see you Monday. Let's do it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been called dumb once or twice in my life. <laughs> <laughs>